Right, 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 you're on. I am? Yeah, people I'm, are waiting. I'm, okay. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Stinky and Bunny Online. Uh, I'm your host for today and all days. Stinky, and right over there is my pal, my good buddy, my good bunny. Huh? Ah! Hey. Hey. I didn't know you were describing for a minute. When you said good buddy, I was like, who's that? I know. That's weird, huh? Yeah. Yeah, sorry to do that to you. It's like confused. You thought I had a new uh, a new co-host. I think more accurate would be like RB roommate. Uh RB? RV. Recreational RV vehicle roommate. roommate. I thought you meant like a rhythm and blues roommate. Which... R and B roommate. Ooh. Uh-uh. That's pretty speaking, good. Of, speaking of music, though. Oh thing. God, I brought this yeah. on us. Okay, here we go. Let's do this thing. Oh, you see, we know what we're doing because this is show nineteen, so we don't even have to tell yeah. each other what we're doing now. We That's called a transition, everybody out there. Yeah, we're getting pretty good at this. Oh but... yeah. Oh, a little out of tune. That's fine. I'm stinky. I'm funny. And we are really funny. And that's our Oh, wow. We're getting too good. Too good. Some would say too good, you know? You can get too good at stuff. Oh, definitely. Speaking of getting too good, I need to have my drink. I, yeah, get I know it. it's your already. Get I know. I jumped in. As soon as I knew we were singing again, I jumped in on mine. What are you doing? Well, we Come got, on, hurry up. I'm Take doing it. Hey, we have, we have guests this week. What? Yeah, three more. How do we even, okay. Well, let's see who, who's on, you know. Yeah, I, I'll on be honest, my, I didn't uh, look. I got my notes. Uh, okay. We got a uh, guy named Ryan Golan, and we got uh, Tanya McIntosh, and Vanessa Lopez. There are three people oh that gosh. are here. That's I know. three people. That's three real people. I know. I know. And you know what? We already have. What? We have a couple people uh, already here that are commenting. So, uh, hey, if you're out in their Facebook land, uh, go ahead and comment. You know, I got it. I can see things from where I'm at. And uh, if you're here live in our live studio Zoom audience, go ahead. Uh, chat with us here as well. Uh, you know, we like to we're like, oh, there we go. We got some guys saying hello. So uh, we like to hear from you. We like you to be a part of the conversation because, you know, we yeah. can't do this ourselves. Yeah. And the more of the show you guys do, the less we got to do. So That's get right. in there. It's less effort for us. So please uh, communicate with us. Excellent. Yeah. Uh, should we just jump in? Oh, I need to I think so. Wait, what, 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 what? Oh, yeah. You got to do that. Okay. Oh, that's a stronger one today somehow. Okay. Yeah. Let's uh let's bring on our first guest. Okay. Here we uh, go. Hold on. Yeah, what? Uh, I just saw something come up that said bunny for president, and I could not agree more. Yeah, you know what? And let's address that right now, right here, because that's something we hear a lot of is bunny for president. We even uh -huh. hear stinky for president uh as well. Uh oh, there we go. Stinky has my vote. Now come on. Gentlemen, we appreciate it. We love to do our part. We love to um you know, we love this country. We'd love to to do what we can uh, to make things, uh, this place a better place. But you know what? Um, I think. You think what? I think what the people want is a debate. Maybe we need to have a debate sometime about yeah. the issues, the big issues. Yeah, well, that's kind of what we, we really get to the big issues on the show, really. Yeah, so. but I think well, you and I may, may need to have a debate outside of this show on the big issues. All right, let's let's okay, let's set that up. We'll have yep. a live let's have a like a live Zoom debate. Let's uh, do it. But America you know has spoken, and by America I mean at least two people. Yeah, but we need more if we get more patrons, maybe. This is brought to you by our patrons, by the way. If we get yep. more, we'll go ahead and we'll have that. You maybe. mean campaign money? I yeah. see what you're doing. But I just wanted to address this, uh though, because the problem with us is that well bunny is a bunny. Um, and that's that they don't allow that you got to be a human and uh, you show I, me I, you show me I'll yeah. debate that too I don't care maybe it's not in that thing of theirs that constitutional uh, papers I don't know maybe not 
Maybe it doesn't say anything about having to be human. But um, uh, but the thing is, for me, though, is I was actually not even born in the United States, so that's a problem for that's me. That's true. I, I born and raised USA, baby. USA. USA. In the woods. USA. Up in the woods. That's right. So, so uh, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Still, still support us for president. We'll, we'll do what we can. We'll, yeah. We'll one of us is going to be president. You can sleep soundly knowing that. Yeah. Uh, hey, let's, uh, we were, we're rambling, bunny. We're rambling. Sorry. So we, I want to meet our guests. I'm really excited about these guests here. Um, first up, we have a, a writer podcaster with a new, with the new world podcast. An occasional actor who created the show Eft on Amazon Prime. Oh my gosh. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the show, Ryan Golan. Hey. How are you doing, Ryan? Hey, I'm doing great. You know what? You guys uh, have my vote. And I'm, I'm excited to, to put my vote in for the Bunny and Stinky ticket. Thank you. I heard Bunny first, so thank you. Thank you. Well, you would have to be president because you were born in the United States. That's so. right, and he can be my vice guy, my Miami vice president. Do you do you know that though? Can can a vice president though? Can they be uh, can they be born in a can they be foreign born? Um, you know, I'm I've, I'm pretty familiar with constitutional law, and I think there is no law at all dealing with vice presidents. I don't yeah. think it's a, we, like an open an open sack of flour could be yeah like, you can do whatever yep exactly it just it they'll get everywhere but there is no rules that you know maybe just the rule of the rule of gravity that's yep. about all you gotta obey gravity yep all right. i am firm on my beliefs in gravity <laughs> me too me too oh well, good didn't, haven't been able to defeat it well yeah you two found some common ground which is really nice um Hey, so you know what? You sound familiar to me because we, yeah, this last name here, uh, we had a debate on another show whether it was Gowlin or Golan. Now, do you know the, I think we had Erica on here. Do you, uh, do you know her personally? I, I do, I do know her. Yes. She's, she's my wife. So. Oh, uh, I'm, I'm, oh, I remember I'm familiar. that. I'm familiar. I'm familiar. I believe that you were, you were living a double life, I believe. Oh, uh, yes. That night, for sure. Yeah. 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 So we don't know if you're Gallon or Golan. Do you now? Can you answer that question for us? Um, you can call me Gallon. I think she goes by Golan. But oh, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah that's that our sense. double life. That's you that's want to separate your life. careers a little bit. That's mm -hmm. good. Put yeah. some yeah. distance in. Keep the magic going. Now yeah, you're it makes it, it makes it spicy. Oh, so spicy. Yeah, I, I can imagine that. Uh, my life has no spice. But um, you know what? You say that you're a podcaster with the New World podcast. Now, that, that's a different type of podcast. That's a new kind of podcast. And it's a new uh, world no, a New World is a, it's a, it was a production company um, that they made. They made movies from the 70s up until around the early 90s. Um, and so we discuss all the movies that they have released. Oh, that's right. This is the one with all the crazy movies. That's right. With all the, all the stuff. Yeah, I re I remember now. Yeah, that that's that's right. They go. They, yeah, they watch movies and talk about them, right? We, so yeah, we talk about that, movies. Yeah. I think there's a link, uh, in the description for this thing, guys out there that you can go see that. Um, hey, I'm at, oh, there you go. Why was I frozen? Oh, yeah. Godzilla 1985. Yeah, exactly. That's one. Yeah, of them. you were. Great. Hey, so, but you also, I mean, if we found two random people that like the same stuff, you should go check it out. Yeah, definitely. Uh, hey, uh, but you say that you're, uh, you created the show F now F ladies and gentlemen yep. is like F apostrophe D. So yep. there's, that means that it's subs that apostrophe is substituting other letters in there. Is that correct? Yeah. Like food. It's about food. Food. No, it's uh, it's it's effed is like when you know you're you you're you're kind of screwed, you know, you're effed. It's like uh, oh, but it's like an abbreviated version of uh, uh of a bad word. I don't I don't know how much how how much you've been exposed to bad words, but ah, uh, we know but, uh, all of them. We've heard all. You know them. Okay, we, we have made yeah. up a few. Oh, Great. good. Oh, good. You're contributing. Yeah. Great. Yeah. So it's just a short form of of the f word. Okay. 
you know, in a past uh -huh. tense. Yeah. Did they, make, did they make it? Can you put actually that word out there? Like it's on Prime, Amazon Prime, right? It is on Amazon Prime. Yeah. So they'll bring that movie right to your door then in two days. No, you, you can watch it on, they have a Prime service where you can oh. watch movies. So From the drone that brings it to you? It, it's like you stream it and you stream it and you can just watch they it. Throw on, it oh, I've heard of this. Uh, a lot of times foxes will do this. They'll throw stuff in a stream and it goes uh, down the stream to other foxes. No, and you, that's how they deliver stuff in the woods. I, yeah, I'm familiar. Okay, that's, I mean, that is, uh, I understand why you would be confused. That, I mean, that certainly is a version of streaming. It's a streaming service. Yeah, yeah, but uh, this is more like um, streaming movies through the internet. That's what they call when you watch oh. movies through the internet. Oh, like yeah, yeah, Netflix yeah, 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 oh, yeah, things. oh, yeah, okay. Um, so you can watch it on your television through Amazon Prime, so. On oh, a yeah. small raft that a fox sent down the street. Got it. Got it. If you can get a signal there, then possibly, if you have your laptop with you, I wouldn't recommend that. But I mean, if that's how you can see it, Bunny, then by all means, you know, I want, I want you to see it. Yeah, so this, well, I guess we're kind of streaming right now, right? So oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah. Wow. I never knew things. Um, so Ryan, where are you? Where are you located at? Uh, I'm in Los Angeles, California. I heard there's fires out there. Is that correct? Um, we have fire tornadoes. That's kind of a new thing. You okay. know, we're always on the cutting edge. Always, always inventing. Always creating. Yeah. And always have so, to one up them. Always got to yeah. one up what everyone's doing. We got yeah. a fire. Well, we got a fire tornado. Yeah, I mean, we've had wildfires here for many, many years, and uh -huh. I feel like we're not the only ones. So I feel like we really felt like we had to step it up. And yeah. We had to kind of really add a new f flair. You know, we don't yeah, really have yeah. tornadoes here, but um, but now we don't have tornadoes. We have fire tornadoes. Yeah, so. wildfires are still five years ago. Fire tornadoes are in. Yeah, they're the new thing. So yeah. I don't even know. I mean, I'm not 100%, but I don't even think Europe has them. So I think we're really even ahead of the European curve. On not that. many people so, are, are ahead impressive. of Europe. Yeah, not many people are ahead of Europe, that's for sure. Uh, especially nowadays, they seem to get everything first, right? Yeah. Uh, well, I don't know. We, we, we're not allowed to go to. Go. Oh, Ryan, are you there? Am I here? Uh-oh. Yeah, you're right there. Oh, good. You just you were a little choppy there. That's okay. Oh, you know, sorry. One of those days it's in the air, I think. Yeah. Um, that's all right. You know, the, the, those fire tornadoes, I imagine those interfere with the signal. They could. They could, yeah. Yeah. Well, Ryan, you know, it was, uh, it was amazing to talk to you. Oh, thanks. Uh, well, thank you for having me. Well, no, we're not done, though, with you. Oh, oh okay. You stick around. Oh, yeah, you stick oh, yeah, around. Yeah. We're going to come to you again at the end of the show. Uh, okay. Uh, after we have a chance to talk to our uh, other two guests, because, you know, oh, we got our time. So, thank you so much, Ryan. Uh, All right. Ryan, Golan. Golan? Gow, yeah. gow, gow, gow. gow. And gentlemen, thank you very much, Ryan, for being on the show. Uh, we'll see you in a bit. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go on to our next guest now. Um, uh, she's a go-wherever-the-wind-takes-her kind of gal. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Tanya McIntyre. Hello. Going, her Tanya? description makes it sound like she is a fire tornado. <laughs> Wow, I've always been searching for who I really truly am inside, and that could yeah. just be it. No one knew that they would be a fire tornado. Like, that's the animal in their heart. Yeah, it's my spirit. Spirit animal? I don't know. I don't even know what they call a force of nature. <laughs> I'm a force of nature. I, so I like it. I, I don't know how I feel about the destruction. That makes me a little sad. I'm not sure about that. Well, it doesn't have to be destructive. Like you, no. if someone threw a bunch of raw calzones into you, you could bake <laughs> them all up and everyone would have a great day. Um, that would make me happy. Okay, I can work with that. I can work with that. Yeah. Yeah. Great. So She'll Tanya. burn down your house, but she cooked the mean calzone. <laughs> <laughs> That's accurate. So, so Tanya, where has the wind, where is the wind blowing you right now? Where are you, where are you sitting right now? 
right now I'm in my bedroom uh, in Las Vegas, Nevada. Uh, but I did just get back from a trip. I did the Pacific Coast Highway, so that was pretty cool. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So how does it work then, this wind thing, right? So you're sitting in your room, okay? <laughs> wind, yeah. wind gust comes up and then you find yourself on the Pacific Coast Highway. Yeah, yeah. so this is, this is how it works, actually. Okay. I'm just living my life normally and I okay. get like this, the gust of wind is like an idea. It's like, you should do this. And then I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. But then it gets stronger and it tells me you should do this again. And then I'm like, well, maybe I should pay attention. So I'm just kind of like, maybe I should do that. And then I just go in that direction. And then something so you, else will come you up. Are, are like, are you, in this scenario, are you the wind or are you like pushed no. by it? I'm pushed by the wind. The wind tells me where to go and then I go. You are as so many autumn leaves brushed across the sidewalk into your future. <laughs> yeah, I never know where I'm going, but I always end up where I'm headed. <laughs> That's lovely. <laughs> that is lovely. Uh, Tanya, we have officially stolen that from you. And that yeah. is going to be a quote that we said tonight. Perfect. Yeah. That's, That's fair. Good. Let's let's put that on a t shirt, bunny. Um, Do we have Steven <laughs> out there? I'm just gonna ask, is Steven out there? Is Steven uh, out there? Copyright Tanya copyright what Tanya said. Also just copyright her look. Uh, and <laughs> And her room. I like her room. Copyright Thank that. You. Thank and, you. And uh, fire tornadoes. If we can get the copyright on that right now, we'll make big money. Yeah. It's Done. gonna be a hit. It's gonna be a hit. See? And the wind never the wind never fails. It always mm -hmm. it always gives you good marketing opportunities. See That's my, right. my problem. My problem is, is that I have the kind of the same type of thing that you do with the wind. Right. Yeah. My thing is wherever my R V takes me, right? But the problem is, is that my RV has been broken down in Laughlin now for over a decade. So yeah. um, it hasn't taken me uh, anywhere. Um, so maybe I'll try this wind idea instead. Of I recommend it. I recommend it. It's, it's never any, really failed me. But if anybody wants to help me fix my RV or give me a new one, yeah. go ahead. Um, you can be a member of our Patreon. That would help us. That um, would help us. Yeah, uh, or you can Definitely. donate your RV to us. We actually, if you go to our website, there's a spot you can write to us and donate your RV. Yeah, if uh, you have yeah. a better RV than we have, please donate it. If you have a worse one, just keep it. We don't want yeah. it for garbage. Right. But give we, us a better one. We could paint a tornado on it, and we can call oh it the God. fire tornado. And you can just zip around the world. That would be beautiful. It would be beautiful. Actually, we had a... Uh, we had uh, we had someone here that says to take our RV uh, to a windy place, so maybe that that would be an idea. That's true, but then we got to get it there. Oh yeah, we got to get it there. <laughs> oh, put well, sales. She says we got to comment. Put that's what we'll do. We'll put sales on it. Perfect. Put sales on it. Oh, and that someone is perfect. Here, someone here nicknamed you uh, Tanya McWintosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Thought about changing your, your name there? I would consider that. But yeah. then, you know, but I'm not the wind. I'm just the. You're affected that, by the wind. It I'm should affected. be Tanya make autumn leaves on the sidewalk, Tosh. Yes, that's more accurate. I, I, I think I should change my name to that, and I might do that tomorrow. Have you ever <laughs> met someone, Tanya, where you were like, you are wind? You are 100% win. Um, I've met a lot of people like that. Yeah. Yeah, they're my favorite people. Because they're like, they can be calm, but they can also be crazy. And I like that in a person. I like a good mixture, you know? And they always like knock your papers out of your hand if you're carrying <laughs> papers. Yeah, always they like, always oh, do. Do you have that report to turn in? Sorry. <laughs> and, but so far, it's always been papers I didn't want to be carrying anyway. So nah. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, I dig it. It's, it works for me. Hey, uh, you know, Tanya, it was, uh, it was great to talk to you. Yeah, thank you so more, much. I want to hear more about your adventures blowing in the wind. Um, so I want to make sure I follow you on the social medias to find out where the wind takes you next. All thank right? you so much. Uh, uh, 
So uh, we're going to move on to our next guest, though, Tanya. But stick around, like we said. Oh. Stick around. We're going to talk to you in a bit. Okay. Uh, okay. All right. Bye. Bringing our third uh, third guest here. Um, uh, she has two left feet. She can lip sync. Uh, <laughs> she can mostly draw. Actor, artist, comedian. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the show, Vanessa Lopez. <laughs> hey, Vanessa, how you doing? Hi, guys. I'm doing great. Good to hear. How good are you guys? Hear. We're doing so good. We're learning a lot tonight. I know. Yeah. Like tornadoes, RVs. Sounds yeah, like we're that. all over the board. <laughs> we have, we've always known we're all we're RV uh, experts for sure. But yeah, we know uh, our way around one. Oh yeah, when for I, sure. But now I got my uh, my parents actually had an RV and it was called Four Winds. So you know it kind of. Oh my goes gosh! With, goes with I, the theme. That's amazing. <laughs> Where's that RV now? Is it left alone somewhere where no one would miss it, or is it like with the keys inside? Or yeah. Uh, yeah, it's uh, you could probably find it in um, some dump somewhere. I don't know. Oh, that's our that's our flavor. <laughs> yeah, that's where we get a lot of our stuff. Dump, dump RVs, dumpy dump RVs. Yeah. I pretend it went to you know a little RV heaven, so that's where it went. Oh nice yeah, mm -hmm. that's yeah. where they go. <laughs> well, I'm, Vanessa, I'm sorry to hear about this condition you have with two left feet. So. Um, does that make shoe shopping difficult or? You know, it really does. Um, normally I have to go in and buy just a normal pair and then just come back in the store when no one's there and then swap out the right shoe from the other one oh. and then take two left and leave and hope they don't notice. So I just, it, it kind of, you know, I feel like Mission Impossible every time, but it's. So no, it's so nobody, oh, yeah. Yeah, nobody says, nobody will sell you then like, the just two lefts and then keep it fair for someone that has two rights? <laughs> no, they always try to sell me just two pairs. And I'm like, you know, now I'd rather just sneak it if I can. Do you think there's like some stubborn guy out there whose wife is like, they're both right, Carl, just return them. And he's like, I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, you know, now that I think about it, I. I feel very selfish for doing that. <laughs> You're spicing up their marriage, I'm sure. Yeah, you, you know what? <laughs> Carl probably, he, he's probably always wrong anyway, so. Yeah, yeah that's true. Yeah. yeah. It, it also says here that you can lip sync. Is that, is that correct? <laughs> yes, yes. I have, uh, unfortunately, not the voice of an angel, so my car rides are very lip synced. Unless is, that just, that is that just for singing or for like speaking as well? Um, well, I can, you know, try and do like voiceover or something like in a movie, like a translation. Okay. <laughs> so like, hey, we've had people right. on the show before do voiceovers for us. This is wonderful. What we're looking for too is we want someone to do faceovers for us as well when we're not looking our best. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. You so can you do ready? Yeah, let's do a face-over for, the, you're going to do a face-over for Stinky. Stinky's going to talk, and you're going to be his face. All right, ready? Yeah, here we go. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the show. Stinky and Buddy Online. Uh, I, my name is Stinky, and I know what you're, you're thinking. Man, uh, he looks rough today, but, um, you know, I don't have my glasses, and I lost my smokes, uh, but you know, I'm doing what I can, but I'm here to do a show for you. Uh, so ladies and gentlemen, here's uh, my good friend, Bunny. That was <laughs> uncanny. Like, I, I didn't see those stinky for a second. <laughs> I thought Stinky had run a comb through his hair today and was not looking half bad. Uh, oh. oh, there he I is. I thought so too, Stinky. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> No, Actually, I, uh, I did something for you guys. Oh my what? gosh, what? Yeah, just just now, just real quick. Just here you go. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, Jamoli. That's this is, is that a fire tornado? It is. It's and a you fire just tornado. Now do it. 
You just yeah, now knocked that out. Yeah, I'm going to draw a little RV here, but I, I ran out of time. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is our second piece of fan art ever. Yay! I'm glad Person. I was <laughs> This uh, is amazing. Yeah, thank you so much. That We'd love to see it when it's, yeah, once you get that RV in there, that would be. We yeah, would like to see it. And don't be surprised if we just put our name on it and say we did it. We need you to be okay with that. You know what? If you guys sign it, I think it would make it more legit. So. Okay. Yeah, we'll do that for you. But it says it, it says she can mostly draw, but that seems like you can fully draw. It seems like you can draw pretty well. Is it mostly means like there's just one thing you can't draw, like scissors. Like I can't draw scissors. Don't make me. Um, I guess that's true. I mean, I've never tried to draw scissors, but there are some things I can't draw. And, like what? Uh, What's the thing you can't draw? Give us um, your weaknesses. <laughs> I feel so vulnerable. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, let's see what I can't draw. I have a hard time drawing guys' faces, actually. Men's faces. Oh, yeah. Just men's yeah. faces. They, they all look the same. Yeah, they're all just like, you know, one face and a nose, and that's about it. That's, a, okay. that's, that's pretty much that a man's again? face. Just what, what, Stinky? Can you show us a picture again, then? Yeah, I've been, I've been working on the men's faces because it is my weakness. You're doing yeah, great. Well, that, that bunny looks great. Yeah, the bunch of men. Well, you can do that's a bunny better than a, than a man, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. That yeah. man, he's just, a, he's just a face and a nose. You're right. He's the face and a nose. <laughs> Do you have a drink? With some glasses. How is that? Are you are you drinking? Are you have a drink? Oh, with I am. I I'm going back to the college ways and just drink a little hard seltzer. So. Ah, oh, hard seltzer. <laughs> nice. Great. And it also says just to, to to finish up here with you uh, before we go on, but actor, artist, comedian. So. Um, you do a lot. You seem to do a lot of a lot of things with everything. Try, you know. I I um I feel like it's all connected, so I want to put it all in together. But definitely the acting and the comedy are kind of more correlated, and um, the art is just something that I do for myself, for the most uh, part. Well, I like your art that you showed us so far. Uh, it's great. <laughs> so um. Uh, Vanessa, you know, we have to, we're going to, we're going to keep you on here, okay. um, but we're going to, we're going to bring back our, uh, our other guests here. We're gonna keep, bring working back... that, keep working uh, on that RV. Keep working on it. Yeah, keep working on it. Yeah, we should send you a picture of the RV, maybe that'll help you. Yeah, uh, just picture a regular RV and then really gross it up a little bit. Oh, no, so no wings on this one. No wings on this one. <laughs> So yeah, we're gonna bring, we're gonna bring back uh, Ryan and Tanya back to the show. Welcome back, Ryan and Tanya. There, you there? You there? Yeah. You there? Yes. Thank hey. you. Hey, you thanks back? for having us back. Hey, well, thanks for sticking around. I know it's sometimes it can be hard to watch, um, <laughs> but hey, we have the time for the question of the day. Question of the day. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> question of the day. Okay. Question of the day. Woo. <laughs> You know what, buddy? I, I, this is what I got. This uh, is what you wrote down. I thought that might be the case. But we have an idea, though. Uh -huh. What we're going to do, but I just didn't write it down on the, my handy piece of paper. Yeah, um, it's got to come from deep inside. Channel yeah, just, your wind. I got to do this off the cuff kind of thing. Yeah. But I know the gist of the question. So, Do you uh, want me to ask a question? Oh, you, can we do that? I think so. I got questions. I got. I got. A, I got stuff. Cause that's kind of my. That's what I do. That's my job. Okay, but, you do it. Get it. But if you want, you know what? I, I'll, How about this? I'm, I'm gonna, gonna be your wind. You know what? <laughs> hey, buddy. You know what? I'm gonna give you. This is gonna be your. I'm gonna give you a chance. Okay. okay. I'm gonna give you a chance for doing the question of the day. Okay. If you blow it, you're done. Okay. All right. Here, go for it though. Question of the day. Okay, question of the day. So, if they, if all the jobs are just, it's all jacked up out there. We know it. So, when everyone gets back to work, if they were just like handing out jobs to anybody, what job would you just take? What job would you like go? Oh, I want to do that now. Good question, buddy. Thank you. Now that. 
And by that silence afterwards, uh, it's really. <laughs> I know everyone's everyone's look thinking about their new futures. Maybe yeah. it's if, someone, if someone was like, you can have any job you want. Uh huh. Yeah, because like, nobody's space man, and they're all available now because nobody's yeah. working. Yeah. I uh, wow, any job. Yeah. You know, I think I'll go for president. Oh my God! It's gonna be a triple debate. <laughs> Am I allowed to say two? Uh, oh. Yeah, why not? Okay, okay, good. It's too funny. <laughs> My huh? initial. What's okay. your, you got to give us your main job and your side hustle. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. My main job would be to be an author. That's that would be great, and I would just get oh paid. Gosh. I would just get paid to do that while I was writing. That would be ideal. Oh. Okay. Yeah, that's the key. My side hustle would be uh, the person that shows up when you tear the mattress, the the little uh, paper off the mattress that they give you the. You're the about. enforcer. You're the tag enforcer. <laughs> yes. They that call you so the much. fire tornado. <laughs> is, is that a real? Is that a real thing? Is that like? Is it, do people go around enforcing the table? <laughs> That's gotta be. Yeah. What if they're throwing jobs around? You make your own. <laughs> You make your own luck. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Otherwise, it's empty threats. <laughs> How would you know it? Would you just feel it like you're writing your book and then you just get a sense that someone's about to rip and the then you go and like karate kick their door down? The wind would tell me. The wind would tell me. I knew it would. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, so so Ryan, do you have a do you have a job idea that you're like, hey, all the jobs are open now and you don't need any experience to do it. So uh ooh, you know what I just want to say, Ryan, you right now, are you are you lit by candlelight? Cause you like <laughs> It's romantic over there. Yeah, yeah, well I wanted to make it romantic tonight with you. It guys. is romantic. Uh thank you. Well I wanted to make sure that, you know, I wanted this night to be special. So um huh. I hope I hope I've achieved that. I feel like I have from you mentioning it. But if I was to pick a job, I'd probably pick an adventurer. Um, it feels like a fun job uh, that's always changing, and it's not very direct, which you even have to do every day. And for a side hustle, I'd probably um, be a veterinarian. You know, just just to help small animals. Um, oh. Nothing nothing too large. Not like a zoo. I don't want to, you know, I don't think I could do that. I feel like that's something, both those things are things that you would normally need um, to have a certain skill set. But since I don't have to have that to get those jobs, that's probably what I would do. Yeah, I wonder if though, if like the side, you mentioned the vet as a side hustle. I wonder if that's ever going to be the way where people just like, hey, I got vet experience. I'll put myself up on the app. Uh, and then people just go, hey, my cat's sick. And then you go, oh, okay, I'll take this one. Blink. And you go to their house, take care of their cat. Yeah, Be you like, know what? <laughs> That's Uber. the only thing about me is that I am allergic to cats. So that would be one animal I would not I would not be able to handle. I'll have to go to another veterinarian. But that's why it's a side hustle, you know? Yeah, you deny it, though. Like, it's like, you know, yeah. Uber guys, you take the ride. Yeah, right? I just, just don't go, take oh. the ride. Yeah. Yeah, it's a gig. It's a gig economy thing, probably. After once COVID's all over, it's going to be a real gig economy. Yeah, Uber job. I Uber man. I think that's the, that, okay. Make sure. Uh, I know Stephen's not here, our copyright guy, but Melissa's taking notes for Stephen. Uh, so Melissa, go ahead and uh, copyright also Uber vet. Uh, great. Uh, sounds good. But an adventurer, huh? You know what, buddy? What would you? What would you want to be? What are you going to be? Uh, I want to be like. I want to work on an oil rig and be like a welder on an oil rig on the ocean. And then everyone's like, why are you welding stuff on a flammable oil rig? And I'm like, forget it. And I got, I never have a shirt on and I got a big cigar hanging out of my mouth. And even when I'm underwater, I just have a cigar in my mouth and I'm welding. Can, is that a job? It sounds like I, a job that you, you're about to quit real, real soon. Like you would yeah. quit almost immediately. Yeah, I underwater weld on an oil rig, and I'm always covered in grease and shirtless with a big cigar. It sounds like you're like 20 years yeah, in. I, and I, just I, about to retire. Yeah, <laughs> and I, I say a lot of stuff like, "She's not gonna hold." <laughs> That's a line. That's what they this say baby on can't right can't One more storm. That's. That's probably disconcerting for everyone on the uh, 
on the oil there. Oil, yeah, it's oil a dare. bad rig. It's hey, a messed uh, up rig. So, Melissa, if you're, you're out there, uh, copyright this for Steven. Um, movie idea, though, guy, welder on an oil rig and confronted by a fire tornado. Come oh, my way. gosh. Come, come the way of the oil rig. Got a, because of the wind, he's loaded. And then you have to get to Yeah. Yeah, so I, I don't know. I think I just made it big with my movie idea, so I don't need another job. But if I were to have another job, I'd be a, 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 a something right now. I'd be an RV mechanic so I can get out of Laughlin. <laughs> fix this thing up. Um, someday, someday I'll get out of this town. But it's it's very nice here. You should come and visit. So it's got a river and stuff. Um, uh, yeah, splendid. Splendid. Who's that in the background? Yeah, there's stuff going on. <laughs> hey, Vanessa. Vanessa. Vanessa, you there? Me? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You, you're there. No, I'm here. I'm here. No, no, no. Yeah, great. I noticed, though, uh, you're, I, were you drawing some more? Were you drawing some more? I was drawing Did your you RV. Oh, oh, my gosh. It's a little one. You know what I love? Uh, I love that it looks like the RV is taking the tornado. It, it, it is. It's, you know that movie Twister? It's my inspiration. Uh huh. Oh my God. We're like, don't screw with us, Laughlin. We'll make a tornado. Exactly. I'm going to put, put the river here with the casino. Oh my gosh. So I was, That's I was beautiful. Trying to get an RV. Should I put like a, like a big, you know, roll cage on it? So when you go. Driving through the tornado? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you release a bunch of those tiny dots in the sky for no reason. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the sensors are taking all the information. I don't know what they're reading. I don't I know don't what they're doing. <laughs> Just a reminder, ladies and gentlemen out there too, uh, if you're out here in the Zoom or the Facebooks right now watching live, uh, go ahead and ask your questions for us. We'll answer anything and everything you got. Um, so it'll be great to hear from you. Uh, yeah. So, hey, I never asked you, though, Ryan, are you, do you got a drink with you? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I do. Yeah. So what, what oh, you got? my gosh. Oh, look at that thing. What is that? It's a giant glass, uh, for Balashi, which is, uh, Aruba's fit, most favorite beer. So. And, but what's, so what's that's in it awesome. is, I'm, I'm. Like Vanessa, I'm just having uh, some uh, hard seltzer because <laughs> I live a very tough life and I'm hardcore. So I'm drinking some hard yeah. seltzer. Nice. You sound oh. like you need to work on an oil rig. I got a picture you might want to be in. You're probably right. You're probably right. <laughs> Say you this line. Should. Say this line. One more wave and this baby's through. One more wave and this baby's through. Oh my god! <laughs> I don't know. I feel like it works. You it just kind of works with being an adventurer because if that's maybe the adventure that I'm on, where I'm at an oil rig. You yeah, know? yeah. So. They didn't issue you a shirt. They just didn't issue you one. Yeah, they just yeah, sure that was optional. <clears throat> well, shirts are optional on an oil rig. I think they. I think it's called optional. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Optional, right? Uh, uh, top shit. <laughs> hey, well, the, we've done our job here because we got a comment here that someone's really craving the hard seltzer right now. So, <laughs> let's see. Tanya, what are you drinking? Hard I'm drinking food. a giant lemonade. Ooh, that sounds good. Hard yeah. lemonade. No, it's, oh. I mean, it's regular, but it's good. No, that's good. You know, I, yeah. no, no problem with that. Yeah. Um, I got to cut back on what I'm doing here, but whatever, whatever, you know, you do what you do. You know what, ladies and gentlemen, it's getting to that time of day. You know what time what? that is, buddy? The time, time when I got to swim down and weld the oil rig back together. That's right. That's right. It's getting it. to that. You know what? It's getting to the time to go to our, our after party. Oh, Ooh. that's fun too, though. Yeah, that's a good time. That's a great time. Yeah. Uh, but it's, there's a, you know, not everybody can come to the after party. No. That's the thing. 
I wish everybody could, but it's just it's limited to the people to our Patreon uh, supporters. So uh, if you want to join the party, I might be able to get you in if you sign up right away. But uh, we'll see about that. You still have time to become a VIP. I will say it is not optional. You, it's top required. Oh, so, well, it depends. It's it's uh you know if, as long as it depends where the camera is. Like if you're, you know. That's true. You know whatever I t- I would say it's optional. Um, uh, I don't know. I don't want to limit people. I don't want people to go now. Oh, now I'm not going to support them on Patreon because now I got to wear a shirt. That's true. <laughs> you know what? We're getting rid of so such a large. Of the public. It is yeah. optional. It's optional. Great. Uh, yeah, but go ahead and uh, and uh, support us. You can come to those uh, after parties because that's yeah, that's where the magic really happens. We save all the best bits for there. Um, yeah. So, but yeah, go ahead, follow us on the YouTubes and the uh, Instagrams and the Facebooks and all those uh, and the Twitters, uh, all those things. We'd love to. to to communicate with you there too. We got a comic strip buddy drawn now on. Oh yeah, high quality, high quality stuff. So so you don't want to miss <laughs> that stuff. So make sure you follow us everywhere you can, uh, and also follow our our guests here. The links are up there in the description of the video. So uh, can we get one last look at this picture, this drawing? This drawing, yes. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. Oh. Beautiful. That's lovely. <laughs> Thank you so much. That's wonderful. Oh, I just had a question here though. Lisa said, uh, "Who can go?" Well, the, our patron, our patrons can go. So you go to Patreon.com/slash/ThinkingBunny. Uh, you can sign up there to help support us and make sure this show keeps going. And then uh, you get to come to our to our after party. Uh, you also get you. a free mask if you sign up with us. Oh yeah, free free stinky. Do you have one on you? I don't have. One. I don't. They're all out there in the world right now. I sent them I all never, out. I never went out today, so I didn't wear mine. So, uh, so thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, for coming to the show. If you watch us on Facebook, if you watch us on the uh, on the, at the Zoom, or if you're watching us in the syndication on the YouTube, uh, thank you so much for uh, for watching. And thank you to our guests. Uh, thank you very much to Ryan Golan, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for being here, Ryan. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much, Tanya McIntosh. Hey, thank you. And thank you so much, Vanessa Lopez. Woo! Thank you so much for being on our show. We hope to have you on our show again soon. And uh, we'll see you at the after party. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for being here. And we will see you next time. All right. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. <laughs>